Hello everyone. I am Dr. Priyanka, a final year PG resident at Atal Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Medical Sciences and Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital, New Delhi. The topic of my paper is CT Imaging Spectrum of CVJ Anomalies, a pictorial essay. The aim of this study is to outline the normal anatomy of the craniovertebral junction and to study the various CVJ anomalies. Craniovertebral junction consists of basilar part of occipital bone, atlas and axis vertebra. Being the transit zone between the cranium and spine, it is the most complex and dynamic area of the cervical region. It is related with major neurovascular structures. Congenital malformations associated with this causes serious neurological and vascular deficit and may require surgical intervention. CVJ anomalies are common in all age groups and clinical features are often delayed up to second or third decade. The study was conducted in the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Little Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Medical Sciences and Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital, New Delhi, between 1st July 2021 to 30th August 2022. In the current study, we screened 60 patients with suspected anomalies of CVJ based on the clinical features from all age group and gender. They were evaluated on 128 slice CT scanner. The CVJ anomalies were predominantly seen in the male population. Eight types of anomalies were detected in the study. Most of the anomalies were seen in combination. The most common CVJ anomaly in our study was basilar invagination followed by Atlanta occipital assimilation. Most of the cases of basilar invagination were seen in combination with Atlanta occipital assimilation and Atlanta dental dislocation. Maximum cases were detected in the age group of 11 to 20 years. The most common symptom were weakness of extremities, neck pain, paresthesia, and torticollis. This table shows incidences of craniovertebral junction anomaly in our study. Maximum is of basilar invagination, that is 26.6%, followed by Atlanta occipital assimilation, 23.3%. Minimum cases, the least cases were of condylar hypoplasia, that is 1.6%. The anomalies were occurring in the combination maximum were of basilar invagination and atlanto occipital assimilation the other associated anomalies were c2c3 fusion cervical rib cervical hemivertebra skeletal deformities uh, in the form of scoliosis and kyphosis now the cases uh, this case demonstrates the basilar invagination in the image a the tip of odontoid is seen above macrius line in B, the tip is above Chamberlain line, uh, 11 mm above the Chamberlain line, and in C, it is 12 mm above the McGregor line. These images demonstrate platybasia. The sagittal uh, reformated images, the Welcher basal angle measures 143 uh, degree in image 2A, and in image 2B, the Clivus canal angle measures 131 degree producing marked platybasia, leading to compression of the cervicomedullary junction. These are sagittal reformated images demonstrating atlanto occipital assimilation. In image 3A, both the anterior and the posterior arch of atlas are not separately visualized from the occiput, suggestive of complete assimilation. Whereas in image 3B, only the posterior arch of the atlas is not visualized separately which means incomplete assimilation, that is, posterior arch assimilation. Now, the key feature in identifying gross disruption of the normal alignment of the atlanto-occipital joint hinges on atlanto-dental interval. The atlanto-dental interval of more than 3 mm in adults and more than 2.5 mm in children is suggestive of atlanto-axial instability. This image shows increased atlanto-dental interval measuring 8.8 .8 mm, suggestive of atlanto axial instability. This case demonstrates atlas anomaly. These are axial CT images of craniovertebral junction of a 21-year-old male who presented with complaint of syncope. In the image 5A, a well-corrugated midline bony defect is seen in the anterior arch of atlas, suggestive of anterior arch anomaly. And the image 5B, there is a unilateral right-sided defect in the posterior arch of atlas, suggestive of posterior arch anomaly, that is hemiatlas. The image 6A and 6B shows a well-corticated smooth surface 
round to oval ossicle superior to the dens and posterior to the anterior arch of atlas suggestive of os odontoidum this image shows coronal reformated images of craniovertebral junction in a case of paraparesis there is flattening of occipital condyle with widening of atlanto occipital joint axis angle in our case it is 130.5 degrees this is associated with other anomaly as well that is basilar invagination vertebral segmentation anomaly and scoliosis this case had vertebral segmentation anomalies it is a case of 12 year old male who presented with torticollis and paraparesis in this image there is complete fusion of c2 to c6 vertebral body and c7 t1 and t2 vertebral body forming block vertebra now few skeletal deformity that was seen in the cases the image 9a shows focal kyphotic deformity in the cervical spine and image 9b shows a lateral curvature of the cervical dorsal spine with convexity to the right suggestive of scoliosis the vertebral column develops in six separate but overlapping phases any interruption in the developmental process leads to congenital anomaly of cranio vertebral junction hence understanding embryology is essential for identifying cvj anomaly Craniometry plays a vital role in diagnosing the anomalies and their pre-op evaluation. The congenital anomalies are associated with abnormal physical appearance such as head tilt, short neck, low hairline and limited neck movements. The CVJ anomalies constitute an important group of treatable neurological disorders. Thus, it is essential to make a precise diagnosis of CVJ abnormalities, classify them as this information ultimately determines the management of sub, such abnormalities prognosis and quality of life multi detector ct is the investigation of choice for diagnosing and planning the management however dynamic ct can provide additional useful information to diagnose cvj abnormalities ct complemented with mri is recommended for associated neurological involvement these are my references thank you